Dear Captain, your safety is our priority. We have created this video to walk you through safety procedures that will keep you safe on the road. We will discuss six areas of safety. We will start by checking your bike, checking your own state, what to wear, general road safety rules, road safety rules for unusual weather conditions, and finally some notes and safety during COVID time. Your safety begins with your bike. Yes, you will need to check your bike before each ride. Bike safety checks include checking tires and chains, mirrors, lights and signals, controls, fuel and oil. Let's start with checking tires and chains. First, check the tire pressure. Check that the tree depth is more than 2 mm all over the tire tree. Less than this is very dangerous. Make sure that the tire tree is free of cuts, nails or cracks. Check that the chain, if the bike has one, is lubricated and that the tension is adjusted correctly. Then check your mirrors. Clean and adjust the mirrors before you start. It is dangerous to do this when you're moving. If your mirrors are adjusted properly, you should be able to see just past your body and as much as possible of the traffic next to you and behind you. When it comes to your lights and signals, check that all lights and indicators are clean and in working order. Both low and high beams must work. Test the horn. Checking your controls is also important. Brakes should work smoothly. The front and rear brakes should each stop the bike when fully applied separately. Clutch and throttle should work smoothly and the throttle should snap shut when you let it go. Make sure cables are lubricated and there are no sharp bends or breaks. Finally, check the fuel and oil level. If the engine needs oil, it could seize and this will damage the engine and could lead to a crash. Now that your bike is all checked, before you start any trips, are you fit to ride a bike today? In general, how do you feel? Are you tired or sleepy? Riding a motorcycle is more tiring than driving a car. Tiredness and dehydration in hot weather makes it difficult to concentrate and make quick decisions. Being tired affects concentration, balance and vision. If you are tired, do not ride. Are you taking any drugs or feeling sick? Do not drive if you are taking any medication or suffering from any medical conditions which can impair your driving ability. Finally, have you consumed any alcohol? You must not ride under the influence of alcohol. This affects your ability to judge distance and speed, making you a danger to yourself and others in the road. Now that your bike is in check and you're feeling fit to ride, let's talk about what to wear to work. As a bike captain, your uniform is designed to protect you and ensure a safer journey for you. Your riding gear starts with your helmet. It is mandatory for captains to wear a helmet while riding a bike. A helmet can prevent a serious head injury and keep you alive if it fits your head well and is done up. Your face and eyes need protection from wind, sand and stones, and helmets help protect from this. Always ensure to wear kareem shirt and trousers. The bright colored uniforms along with the reflectors on them keep you visible and safe. Ensure to put on your protective gear before every ride. This includes your knee pads, your elbow pads and gloves. Finally, your boots. Always wear safety shoes. These cover your feet past the ankle to protect you against ankle injuries or exhaust bike burns, which can affect your future ride. Now let's talk about general road safety rules. As a motorcyclist, you need to be seen by other drivers. Remember that you're sharing the road with others, so ride cooperatively in traffic. Before you start, take some time to think about your trip. Situational awareness begins before the ride. Plan your route and make some mental notes about the hazards you might face. 
on a bike, you'll want to get in the habit of noticing all those other lanes and drivers. You'll want to position yourself in such a way to have a line to ride forward if someone comes up hot behind you, just in case they didn't see you. You'll want to make note of whether there's a left turn lane opposite you and whether there's any chance a driver could miss seeing you as they try to make them. Are people in lanes running crosswise trying to beat the yellow? Is the flow of traffic mellow or aggressive? Look around you and adjust your plan once the light turns green to suit the conditions you observe. It might be as simple as taking a beat before accelerating just to make sure the drivers in the other lanes are fully stopped. It might seem like a lot to think about at first, but it won't be long before these assessments become automatic. A mental checklist like this can allow you to feel more prepared and calm on the bike from the moment you pull away from your home. You'll still need to respond to the actual conditions once they're out there, but having a game plan in place early can make responding less stressful. We can drive in a way that can be a role model for other drivers by doing the following. Here are some safety tips. Keeping your eyes up is vital because you will need to constantly be assessing and reassessing your surroundings on the bike. Use your periphery to take stock of the roadside conditions and motorists that flank you. Notice brake lights three or four cars ahead so you can be better prepared when the car directly in front of you begins to stop. Look out and then scan back closer to your current position. A constant state of attentive scanning will allow you to spot clues that pertain to the dynamic of the road ahead and will give you precious extra seconds to respond should you need to and can help to reduce the number of unexpected situations so far. When pulling out from the curb, position your bike so you can see the traffic in both directions. If you're making a U-turn, have a clear view of the traffic in both directions. At intersections, do not count on other vehicles giving way to you. Lean with your bike while you turn, keeping your head up and line of sight level with the road. Focus on your riding. Avoid using the phone while riding or doing any other activities that may cause distraction. Riding safely requires full attention. No distracted driving. Always ensure your phone is displayed on your bike using a phone holder. This will allow you to use navigation while engaging in safe behavior. Phones and pockets may ring and distract the rider, which can be dangerous. When it comes to positioning, place yourself on the road where you can see and be seen. Blind spots besides other vehicles are dangerous because drivers cannot see you. Most crashes between a bike and a vehicle happen at intersections. So position yourself where you can be seen and have as much room as possible to avoid a crash. Riding with your headlights on during the day will help you to be seen by other road users. If you have your headlights on during the day, always use the low speed. Before you turn or change lanes, you must use your indicators. Send clear messages to the other traffic. Turn your indicator off afterwards, because if you leave it on after you've made the turn, you're giving the wrong message, which could be dangerous. When you're stopping or slowing down, start braking early, so drivers know that you're about to slow down. Sound your horn as a warning in case of danger, to let other road users who have not seen you know that you're there. Never rely on the horn though, because it may not be heard. Keeping a safe space is the best protection you can have. You should try to keep a 3 second gap between you and the vehicle in front. Do not try too close behind another vehicle. They might stop suddenly and you might not be able to stop in time to avoid a crash. Ride within the speed limit or at a speed appropriate to the situation. Ride at the slow lane whenever possible. You will be able to drive relaxed, you will not be forced to speed up, and you will avoid conflict with those who want to travel at higher speeds. Avoid driving slowly in a fast lane. This practice is equally dangerous as over speeding, 
as it requires other drivers in the fast lane to brake or change lanes to avoid the slow vehicle. Always use the slow lane. The fastest lane is reserved for cars and bikes in the fastest lane can result in a fine. Avoid those common mistakes and keep yourself and others on the road safe. Avoid zigzagging. Do not zigzag between lanes or cars. Avoid tailgating. You should travel at least 3 seconds behind other vehicles. Do not make sudden moves. This is particularly important on slippery surfaces as it could cause you to lose balance. Avoid cutting in front of other drivers or jumping the queue just to get a few meters ahead. This causes annoyance among other drivers and aggravates the traffic situation. There are special precautions for driving under unusual travel conditions like fog, rain, and flood. Fog is like a cloud at ground level. It forms when the temperature drops very low and invisible water vapor in the air condenses to form suspended water droplets. Fog can be patchy. It can be very dense in some areas and light in some. This creates visibility problems and very dangerous driving conditions. Fog usually comes during early mornings and the months when the weather is changing, start or end of summer in the UAE. Flooding in Dubai occurs very rarely as heavy rains are not very common. But when heavy rains come, heavy flooding also happens in many areas of the city. What's challenging about driving in rains and flood is that it's difficult to guess how deep the water really is. You can only see the surface of the water. You cannot see if there are hidden dangers in the path you're taking like sharp objects or deep holes. Here are a few tips to follow to drive safely in rains and floods. Engage low gear. Ride slowly while maintaining smooth acceleration and reviving the engine by slipping the clutch to prevent the water from entering the exhaust pipe. Slow down. Once you've successfully passed the flooded area, avoid speeding as your brakes will not be as efficient due to moisture. You must step on your brakes repeatedly to help remove the moisture in it until the brakes efficiency is restored. Do not ride through fast moving water, even if the water level is at or below 50% of the tire height. The force of the flood water may sweep your bike away. At these difficult times, you must also discuss COVID safety measures. Protect yourself and others by following these simple guidelines. Let's recap COVID safety at each step of your journey. Before order pickup, at the merchant, and at the customer. Before picking up the order, as a captain, wearing masks is mandatory at all times. Sanitize your hands with a hand sanitizer. Wear gloves before picking food from the merchant. Sanitize delivery bags from the inside using disinfecting spray three times a day. Sanitize bikes with disinfecting spray once a day. At the merchant, as a captain, sanitize your hands with hand sanitizer. Wear gloves before picking food from the merchant. Dispose hand gloves after placing food in the back delivery box. Drive bike with regular bike gloves. At the customer, as a captain, again, sanitize hands with a hand sanitizer. Wear gloves before taking food out of the bag. Take the bag to the customer's location and take out the food only after reaching the customer's location. 
maintain safe distance from the customer while delivering the food, leave the food at the doorstep if the contactless delivery option has been selected. You are now done with your bike safety training. Thank you and stay safe.